I am currently totally overwhelmed by the amount of games that I have and don't have time to play. Steam keeps putting games on sale and I keep buying them. Um, Borderlands 2 is what's been eating up my time, but I still would like to play Orcs Must Die and Sniper Elite Version 2. And Space Marine I bought like over a year ago and barely touched. Um, never did finish Saints Row the Third. I mean, and, and looking through, you know, Amazon's list of games you got games coming like Dead Space 3 and of course that, I mean that's further down the line but next month you got Halo 4 and Black Ops 2 I mean those are games that I really want to play um it's the first time in a while I've been excited for a Halo game though even though I play them all um you got Aliens Colonial Marines um some people are really psyched for Hitman uh you got Gears of War Judgment Assassin's Creed 3 Dead Space 3, I think I said that already. Um, love Dead Space 2. It's awesome. Far Cry 3, uh, Splinter Cell Blacklist. Um, just, I mean, the, you just keep looking and looking. I, I, I made another video and I kind of scrapped it because it went a little longer than I had hoped. But, I mean, there's just so many games. You can. Dead Island and. Devil May Cry and um, Injustice, all of these games. Oh God, why are they making the Castlevania Lords of Shadow Two? Are they trying to make up for how poorly the first game was? Anyway, you got Metro coming too. There's just what's happening is, is developers know that this console cycle is coming to an end real soon, and so this is all the. Uh, all these developers just trying to get their games out, and for the longest time, oh sorry, hit my mic. For the longest time, um, it was like we don't want to release around big releases. We don't want to do a pack all these games together because then they won't sell and games will get buried. But right now, everyone's so tight in this this window that everyone's. I think they're just saying screw it, you know. Even though not a whole lot of people want to compete with Call of Duty and Halo, I mean that. That's the only time when two huge games are coming out at the same time. Um, and that's the only exception where everyone else wants to avoid it. But uh, there's just games coming out like crazy. And no one's like... Everyone's just like, screw it. Who cares if we get buried? Don't have time. Um, just release it. Uh, so yeah, it's just... I don't know. Don't, don't have time for all these games. I don't know what I'm gonna do about it. <laughs> probably just buckle down and say don't buy these games until I have time to get around to them um, but yeah uh, I don't really <clears throat> have much else to say about that I'm real excited for Halo 4 looking to see what um, this, these new guys are up to new company making Halo looks like they're gonna hit it out of the park which is which is awesome Halo needs to change um, and what kind of crap can they do to Black Ops to make it fun because Black Ops was great, but I'm pretty sick of Call of Duty. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But then again, I said that before I bought Black Ops, and then I loved it. So we'll see. Whatever.